Todd Muirhead from the VMware Performance Team, and today I have with me Rezvan Kivayashan. Um, I'm, um, uh, I guess I'm, you, you can call me a new member of the team. Yeah, relatively. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been here a few months, um, and uh, I've worked uh, with Todd in the Vialbum uh, Performance Team, uh, looking at various uh, aspects uh, of, of the performance in um, VSX. And so today, we're the topic we're going to be focusing on is is, is something that you're extremely familiar with, um, and have been doing a lot of testing on, and that's NFS performance. Uh, yes, in, with vSphere. Yes, indeed, it's it's a, a topic that um, uh, I worked uh, on. Uh, right, um, I guess it was like in the first month uh, when when I yeah, we, uh, we, put I you, we put you right to work. That's right. <laughs> yeah, after I joined uh, uh, VMware, and uh, I think I've, I've um, um, got some interesting results that. Uh, are uh, useful for for um, our performance work. So I guess I think I think most people are, are probably familiar at least a little bit with NFS or aware of it. Um, but I mean, what what is the what is the attraction to NFS? What's the I mean, NFS uh, was um, it's like a distributed file system, and uh, it was developed by some microsystems in uh, 1984. And uh, although it's uh, almost like 25 years old. It still has uh, like a huge base of uh, users, especially businesses that are uh, using uh, network attached storage. So, what does uh, NFS uh, do? Right. How does it help you? Uh, basically, you can access uh, a file on uh, over the network, like you would access it on your uh, local hard drive, and um, so involves a, a client and a server model. So, basically, the client. Uh, um, expresses uh, interest in uh, uh, files exported by the NFS server. So how does this all work? I well, mean, it's typically uh, just over regular networking, right? So you don't have to yeah. have cyber channel or any type of thing. Yes, indeed. But, and how, how does it work? You know, like there are a bunch of components that need to talk to each other to get this whole process working. So when a user application sends an NFS request, the client OS system uh, uh, routes that uh, request to the NFS uh, client module. And the NFS client module sends an RPC call over the network to the server. The server looks up the file on uh, its local file system and then uh, uh, sends back uh, a response to the client with the, uh, uh, whatever like uh, uh, file the, the client uh, uh, right. requested. So, uh, I mean, although it sounds simple and, uh, uh, you know, like when people when think about NFS, okay, it, it's been around for a very long time. There are uh, various uh, uh, different components that uh, uh, are involved in, in this NFS transaction. And, uh, uh, you know, like there are lots of layers uh, where we, we can uh, do and uh, improve the performance. So it's, I mean, I know that like when you're setting up storage uh, on the ESX host, um, NFS is, is, is drop dead simple at that point, right? You just put in the uh, basically the, the, the share of the map point and um, and then you're off to off to the races uh, in order to be able to use that storage um, for your VMs. Um, so you've been testing the performance. Yes. And um, so, okay, so so there's actually a couple different ways you can do this NFS stuff, right? So there's the way that I just mentioned, which is um, mounting uh, NFS volume at the ESX host level, and then you can also mount um, inside the guest, so you could have the, the guest operating system um, do the mount over its uh, network right over to the, um, to the NFS server as well. And I understand that you tested both of these. Yes, yes, right? uh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, maybe we should talk a, a little bit about how we um, estimate like uh, ESX performance. So, okay. um, I guess like uh, uh, the first and most important metric is how ESX performance compares uh, uh, against uh, native performance. So to do this, we actually um, bring up the native system with a, a Windows or a Linux flavor, and then we create a, a guest which, uh, uh, with a configuration identical with the, uh, the one of the native system. So the same operating system, same file system, same, same everything. memory size, same yes, everything. Same everything. And uh, I mean, uh, at first we run some basic uh, uh, micro benchmark and uh, standard micro benchmarks to, to gauge the disk I/O performance and network performance. And uh, then uh, later on we move to, to more realistic applications that stress the component uh, we are interested in. 
So then you get you get a complete picture of performance because you're not just doing micro benchmarks, you're also doing applications and you get a, a better feel, which is important. Indeed. When you're doing performance and not just look at a, a single test. Indeed. And um, so typically with NFS, we're going over the network. Um, what's the, what's usually the bottleneck? I mean, there are like well, several bottlenecks that uh, well, we can observe, you know, like one of the bottlenecks can, can be the um, NFS client. Mm -hmm. The other one can be uh, the storage. Um, I mean, sometimes even the network can, can, can be a bottleneck. So if you reach the network being the bottleneck, then that's the most you're going to do with yes. the network. Right? Yes. Um, okay. So so we've talked about this. So 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 um, what kind of what kind of results have you seen in your tests? So I mean, uh, uh, we are interested in uh, several metrics when it comes to NFS. We are interested in uh, uh, throughput. We are um, interested in response time, and then uh, we are also uh, interested in the cost of uh, um, moving the one byte of data from one place to another, and. Um, to do that, we, we collect uh, um, OS performance st statistics on the native system and we compare them with the uh, VSX top. And uh, on top of it, we uh, collect benchmark results and we compare uh, statistical scenarios. So uh, uh, what I observed is that uh, with both uh, the using the ESX uh, uh, client, NFS client, mm -hmm. and uh, using the guest NFS client, the throughput was similar in both uh, the guest and the uh, native. But uh, uh, we uh, have uh, we had a slight, uh, slightly higher CPU utilization and uh, latency in uh, when when we ran uh, NFS uh, within the guest. So in terms of an efficiency point of view, um, there was a little bit more CPU usage. Yes, um, but not not very big. No, not very big. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Um, so I think eventually some of these results may make their way out. Um, is that correct? Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of this work has been done for internal uh, internal consumption and, and to understand and measure our own performance, um, and then to drive improvements back in, in the product itself. Um, but anyway, it's been uh, been great talking to you about about the NFS performance. Anything else you want to? Oh well, no, I mean, uh, it, it's been awesome to work here, and uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, uh, we get the opportunity to to. No, indeed, it's awesome. <laughs> I, I do like working here. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we get the opportunity to, to work on very interesting pro uh, projects. And uh, I mean, um, it fulfills uh, the uh, need for, uh, you know, cool stuff a performance engineer has. Yeah, so hopefully these videos, um, will, you know, begin to get people a, a, a feel for you know, some of the fun stuff that we get to do. And uh, hopefully we'll get to talk with you some more about uh, some more of the work that you're doing later. Sure. All right, thanks. Thank you.